Dear friends, today dear, we are discussing about aims of teaching English. Indian people consider English as a second language. It is studied as a compulsory second language. It is not the medium of instruction for a majority of the students. It is an instrument, a means for acquiring knowledge. The aim of teaching English in India is to help students to acquire practical command of English. In other words, it means that students should be able to understand, speak, read and write English. These are the basic aims of teaching English. The teacher should keep in mind the aims of teaching English. The teacher should always emphasize on the aims of teaching of English. It will help to teach effectively. These are the main aims of teaching English. First one is to enable to listen English with proper understanding. Second, to enable to speak English correctly, it means that producing sounds with the, with the proper stress and intonation. Third one, to enable the students to read English and comprehend and interpret the text. Fourth one, the, to enable the students to write English correctly and meaningfully. For example, writing letters, applications, descriptions and accounts of day to day events etc. Fifth one is to enable to acquire knowledge for the elements of English. Then la sixth one is to enable to develop interest in English. To increase students ability to use planning, drafting and editing to improve their works. Eighth one is to enable students to express themselves creatively and imaginatively. Ninth one is to enable students to speak clearly and audibly in ways which, which take with account of their listeners. Tenth one is to enable students to become enthusiastic and reflective readers through contact with the challenging and text level of knowledge. Okay, these are the main aims of teaching English. There are some problems uh, with second language acquisition. There are numerous barriers and constraints. Firstly, using the mother tongue inside the classrooms rather than English. Secondly, a plethora of English teachers are still unaware of the modern teaching methods as they still use the old conventional of teaching methods. In addition, some students reject to learn English, however, it is a second language for his country. Moreover, parents' educational background plays an important role in learning English as lingua franca. Then some challenges encountered to the learners of English as a second language are learning a second language is never easy, e particularly if you are learning English outside of an English speaking country. For instance, English language learners in African countries, uh, they, are, uh, they face a lot of challenges because English is not the official language of these countries. In general, English language learners often face some of the difficulties. You just watch a video about the language uh, learning barriers. If you have difficulties in listening, you are not alone. This is one of the most common problems for English learners. It's frustrating and embarrassing when you can't understand spoken English, but in this lesson I'm going to explain why it's so difficult and teach you how to improve. Listening to English and successfully understanding it is difficult for three reasons. First, many English words are pronounced differently from their written form. We have words with silent letters like thought, island, and muscle. Also, Many letters can be pronounced in different ways, like the A in apple, father, and game. Second, when native speakers talk fast, we link the words together. Native speakers often connect the words when speaking fast. We don't pronounce every individual word clearly. So, the question how are you feeling today sounds like how are you feeling today I'm going to have lunch sounds like I'm gonna have lunch this linking happens in all spoken English sentences 
and it's one big reason that it's so difficult to understand. Finally, too little practice. Most students read too much and don't listen to enough English. But remember that babies and young children learn English by listening first and reading later. So English listening practice is essential. Okay, now that you know why listening is difficult, here is how to improve it. There are two ways, practicing every day and practicing the right way. Tip number one is to practice every day. Create the habit of listening to English for 15 minutes daily. Even if you're busy and you don't have much time, you can listen while driving to work or school, taking public transportation, exercising, or doing housework. Now, what should you listen to? Here are three sites with great audio and accompanying text. VOA Special English for American English News, for British English News and Lifestyle, and LO.org for dialogues and conversations in many different accents of English. Tip number two is to practice the right way. What does this mean? Well, there is a right way and a wrong way to practice English listening. The wrong way to do English listening practice is to try to listen once, you don't understand every word and you get frustrated, so you give up and stop practicing after the first try. To do English listening practice the right way, the first step is to relax and know that it's completely normal to have limited understanding the first time you listen. You need to listen at least three times. Listen the first time for the general topics. Don't try to understand every word, just try to understand the main ideas. Listen again and now try to understand some more specific details. Again, remember that it's okay not to catch every word. Listen the third time while reading the transcript, the text. Now you can pay attention to the individual words and see if your previous understanding was correct. This type of listening, from more general to more specific, is the most effective way to practice and improve your English listening ability. Your action item for today is to try it. Go to one of the websites linked under this video and listen to one program three times. If you practice English listening every day for 15 minutes, and you practice the right way, listening three times to the same audio from general to specific, your understanding of spoken English is guaranteed to improve fast. In general, English language learners often face the following challenges. The first one is unqualified teachers. This is the most significant and most overlooked problem. What makes this problem to so difficult to solve is that since many communities are English, English language learners, they cannot determine who is a good English teacher and who is not. This has led to a lot of problems because different teachers tell them different things. One of the main cause of the, the problem, this problem is the difficulty teachers have translating translating from their own native languages. Second point is limited learning environment. When we talk about limited learning environment, it does not mean the availability of furniture in the classroom uh, or weather or the location of the school. While all, all these factors can affect learning, in learning English, what happens outside of class matters most. In most cases, Students only make an effort to speak proper English in the classrooms when they are under the supervision. 
more over students don't always hear the people around them speaking proper english as a result it becomes more difficult to learn correct english learning materials refer to items that aid in the learning process books may be a necessary material but books are not enough by themselves audio tools are also needed as observed above if a student sees a sound symbol in a book how does he or she know how to pronounce it the fact is that students of english language uh, language graduate graduates into teachers of the english language without ever getting to hear the correct pronunciation by native speaker students also study irregularly they have the books to read but they can't tell how certain words are said how would a student know how to pronounce the word eve he or she must hear the right pronunciation from his or te her teacher fr or, or from a native speaker of english student tend to learn from movies they watch but they often learn the wrong things because movies contains slang uh, and uh, dialects that are not appropriate in the many f in many forms of communication students don't able th their study seriously don't take their study seriously that is the another matter in this case students often think that the same english as they speak at home or on the street is the same they will write in their exams however because communication doesn't have to be grammatically correct in order to be intellig intelligible students don't always abide by the rules they learned in school and therefore they do not get fully educated or pass their test even with qualified teachers adequate materials and exposure to native english speakers there there are still a number of problems are there uh, problems they are facing over use of native language in the classroom students learn another language best when they are found to use forced to use to use it teachers must must be vigilant about requiring requiring students to communicate in english and only in only in english even if they are just talking to each other if you know the students native language pretend in the classroom that you don't you don't know as it uh, so they are forced to speak in english now you just listen a video what are the barriers they are the students are facing when they are learning english
when we conclude the topic we can say that objectives of english teaching is many most important is that we also give first preference to english we have to speak english as a native english speaker